Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name is Tanya and I'm addicted to jewelry. Um, I just got all of this stuff this morning. It's like 10, about 10 o'clock in the morning right now. Um, I need to get to the post office and mail off my boxes from my little celebration yesterday. Uh, one year on YouTube. Whoa. Thank you all. And, uh, oh, there was one winner. I didn't receive your information. Um, yeah, email me. MyJewelryAddiction55 at gmail.com. Uh, send me your address. Winner. Uh, the other four winners, uh, your boxes are already labeled. I've just got to drive back that direction to the post office and drop them off. So I will be doing that today and getting those out in the mail. And thank you and congratulations, all you winners. And yeah, I got an amazing jewelry haul today. A lot of these things I had purchased at estate sales, uh, yard sales, thrift stores, um, and I sold it to my friend Kim who turned around and sold it back to me today um, I know that these are for me because I actually wrote on the bags and then there's others that I know that uh, that came from me too because I would have bagged that the same way there's a lot and I remember this set um, yeah so I'm a lot of these things um, have come 360 back into my possession and I'm going to share them with you today. So what do we got? Let me start before I do this. I want to show you, I did go to uh, two thrift stores yesterday and I found this. I thought this was really cool. Um, it's just copper and it's got this beautiful red enamel. Uh, really pretty necklace. And then I found this, which is absolutely stunning. I just love all the little like shark tooth setting or sawtooth. <laughs> shark tooth. They look more like shark's teeth. Sawtooth setting. I guess that's what you call that. I don't know. Uh, this is what the back looks like. I'm not sure if this is a more modern piece. Um, based on the class, I'm going to say yes. And it's marked uh, Rachel. But, and it's in a gunmetal. But I just thought that was stunning. Love it. Um, this was presented as apple juice Bakelite. Um, so I haven't tested it. Here, we could test it real quick. I actually have some Q-tips and my semi-chrome right here. Um, I don't know about these triangular ones. Um, you just take a small amount of the semi-chrome on to the Q-tip. Just a small amount. doesn't have to be a lot. And just lightly rub it on the... Um, Thanks. There we go. Bakelite. Um, so apple juice Bakelite, and I'm not sure about these ones, but I'll test them real quick. I don't know what that is. Um, these kind of triangular ones. Oh, well, that's weird. That came up black. So I'm not sure about that. Uh, those are interesting beads, though. I don't know if that's a natural material, if that's a man-made thing. Uh, I couldn't tell you. Um, cool, though. Apple juice Bakelite. Um, I wish I knew how to test for real tortoise shell, but uh, this is a really nice cuff um, in a tortoise shell style. I do not know. Uh, what else did I get? Oh yeah, I stopped it. Those two were from this pile. That was from one thrift store, these two. And these two were also from another thrift store. Uh, these are just sweet little huggies with a peridot. And 
sterling silver and I said yeah and this one was just really super cool it's sterling silver and then this chain I don't know if it's going to come across on the camera but there is the it, it's kind of a woven metal if you were to look at it under the loop um, but in that woven part is the most pretty iridescent um, it's just all the colors like a woven uh, almost like glitter effect to it um, just iridescent with all the beautiful rainbow colors in like pastel rainbow colors and I doubt if that's picking up but it's really cool um, it's really sparkly and it's it's sterling silver it, it's a really neat piece I've never seen one like that before um, okay now the rest of this back to back to the lecture at hand um, these are both glass uh, but it look like jade uh, it wouldn't be as sad if you broke those I, I've I've broken myself personally three jade bracelets like this I can't wear them uh, this is one of the items that I have or I did sell to Kim and I bought it back um, and that's needle point in there and it's just a really cool little piece um, the bottom it's a brooch really pretty Hang on one sec. Okay, sorry about that. Um, this piece here is 14 karat gold and uh, a really beautiful peach coral and pearl necklace. Um, love that clasp though and 14K, that's really pretty. Very pretty um, necklace. This one is Hollycraft uh, Corporation, 1956. And maybe that's what it reads on the back. I'm not 100% sure. <coughs> Excuse me. That's exactly what it reads on the back. 1956, yeah. Hollycraft Corp, 1956. And this is a stunning brooch. I remember selling this one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is just a really pretty piece. Gorgeous. Love it. Love it. And I guess I'll put it back in the bag. Uh, this set here I remember selling to Kim. I don't remember where I picked up a lot of these, but I did, you know, when I was on my prowl um, collecting, I frequented uh, estate sales, thrift stores, yard sales, etc. Church sales, jewelry events, ads on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. and <laughs> I was picking up jewelry all over the place. Uh, those are the earrings that go with that. Just gorgeous love yeah that's how they sit on the ears very very pretty set um, not signed so I'm not sure who made this set it almost looks like Sarah Coventry um, or I, I, I mean I could be way off done very very nicely though and yeah this is how I would when I had a set like that to keep everything from banging together, I individually bagged them. So, yeah, but I do remember that set. Um, I remember this set too. Uh, I don't know that this one is signed. But it's awfully pretty. Uh-oh, what's on here? Looks like there's something on there. Maybe not. Beautiful set. Um, and this has the earrings to go with it. I won't bore you with opening up the bags. Um, uh, not signed. 
Oh, I didn't show you what the back looked like. Here's the back. Beautiful piece. Or set. Uh, this one I remember selling. And, um, yeah, uh, she said she thought this was Juliana. Um, no, I'm not sure. I don't know if that's focusing on everything else. Really pretty piece. And there was one other she said was Juliana, this one here. And this one actually does look like Juliana. Um, just like, I don't know why I say that. I don't know. Maybe not. But she said that she thought that this was Juliana as well. So, I don't know. I'm not the jewelry expert. But some of you are. So, yeah, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Or let me know what your favorite piece is. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It is always free to subscribe. Uh, this is Eisenberg Ice. And it's a beautiful brooch. And it said so here. And that came from me. <laughs> I'm happy to buy these things back. Um, she was going to be doing a lot of sales on... Uh, she used to sell on eBay. Um, and she doesn't anymore. So, yeah. Yeah, so she uh, she only sells out at the swap meet now. Well, not only um, she buys and sells every day. That's what she does. She is a Wheeler dealer here in town, and there's quite a few of them. And I'm just uh, feel blessed that I can call her my friend, and she offers me such amazing pieces of jewelry. Uh, this is probably one that I may have sold to her because, again, it came, you know, individually bagged. Um, beautiful piece. Gorgeous, actually. Love the blue. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Oh, here's a little kitty cat with the green eyes. Uh, little alien eyes. <laughs> <laughs> just a brooch just a brooch this is sterling silver and uh, Millie Fiore see through very pretty one with the pink uh, a little pair of kitty cat earrings um, sterling silver that looks like uh that clothing brand baby fat or something like that I don't know it looks it looks like it this is JJ and oh look at Ooh. there's not a big mess back here today kind of just have my two stands I'm at my desk right now in my room here's my view um, but look at his little face there Looking back at himself. Really cute little JJ pin with the mirror. Here's another JJ. I sold this one already. Um, and now I have another. Hi, Mama Kitty. Hi. Pretty. Uh, these are just two little scatter pins. Brooches. Really pretty. Uh, they may... No, they don't go with the set. But I did get a set that is a three-piece set. Uh, Sarah Coventry. Uh, Thermoset flowers. Or, I don't know, whatever plastic. I mean, is it Thermoset? I don't know. Celluloid. It's some sort of a plastic flower. Um, with the bracelet and the earrings um sarah coventry so that was nice to find a complete set or 
maybe it's not so complete. There might be one or two items missing there. Um, I got this awesome gold filled locket. Um, and it has a bunch of wordage in there. It needs to be cleaned up with the verdigris around there, but it's a beautiful locket, gold filled. Uh, I got this brooch, more than likely I sold to Kim and bought it back. Yellow enamel, that'll go on my big tree. Yeah, anything in a bag here I probably sold to Kim and, it, and now it's come back to me. Um, this is just a really early, early, early brooch. Very pretty. Okay, what else did we get, kids? Got this. Don't know what it says because I left. Well, I just bought a brand new loop last week and it's gone already. I can't locate that one, but um, that's a brooch. It's a more modern piece, I'm sure of it. Uh, here's a brooch slash pendant. Uh, the veil folds up and you can wear it as a necklace really pretty. This is a cool piece. Um, it's very kind of brutalist, modernist. Um, love all that beadwork like that. And then, bam, turn it over and it's like real feminine, floral. Pretty. Um, still has the safety chain on there. It works really well. Good snap. I got this beautiful bracelet. Um, I was wearing this yesterday. It's small. I have a size 6 wrist and it fits me really nicely. Really pretty. And a little ring, a uh, little turquoise ring. It has this little thing on there I'm going to have to take off because um, it won't even go on my size 5 finger all the way. It won't go over my knuckle right now. Uh, but it's a beautiful ring. Love that stone. Let's get all these bagged up things out of the way. Uh, these are... Oh, there is a name in there. Coro. These are Coro scatter pins. And they're really quite beautiful. And everything is there. love that. That little vase with the flowers and the wings coming off of the vase. Really beautiful. Oops. Very lovely. Just gorgeous, I say. This one here is just so pretty. It looks like, um, in the light it just looks like diamonds and pearls and it's so pretty and sparkly I did notice just now that there's a stone missing right there right there gosh darn it dag nabbit I did not want to pick up anything today that had another repair oh, yeah I did get one other thing that needed a couple of stones and I didn't mind um, getting it because I just thought it was beautiful and it'll be even more beautiful finished <laughs> it's just missing a couple of stones here but again that blue so pretty and yeah I will fix that that's what the back looks like I got these beautiful clip-on earrings because I thought they were beautiful. Yeah, you guys, uh, let me know what you think about uh, this haul today. Make sure and leave me a comment. Um, 
and hit your bell for notifications so you know when I go live. I go live every Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, where I do a live sale. Um, and please feel free to join me if you haven't yet. It's a whole lot of fun. Oh, neat. This is an enhancer here that can go over pearls. Um, and these are signed, uh, oh, KJL, uh, for Avon. So it's, I just thought it was a really cute set. Love the black enamel. Whoop. <laughs> and the gold bow, really pretty. I thought these were really beautiful earrings. They are not signed, um, but just very, very pretty. And I was not going to leave them behind. No way, no how. Same. I thought that was really cool, too. Love it. Just a really pretty brooch. Not signed. Very cool. I guess I'll show you this real quick. This is... Um, a gold filled like watch fob chain. Uh, now this one will go over your neck. That's long enough and it's very pretty. And then it has this little tiny thing here that slides um, that you could move up and down the chain wherever you want. Um, and it looks like it has a little tiny diamond chip in there. All in gold filled. Really pretty. This is a really cool brooch. Uh, the enameled flowers in there. Um, this is done on copper, it looks like, perhaps. <laughs> or bronze. It's got a really early C clasp there. Anyways, beautiful, beautiful brooch. Here's another really pretty brooch. Um, this one is a brooch slash bail uh, for a necklace. Really pretty, needs to be cleaned up. Big piece of faceted glass there. Uh, this one is an early one. It's very pretty. I noticed it needs a dangle, uh, purple, glass, something, dangle with the right type of metal. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. Um, really pretty, though. Let's get that twisted around to the right side. But Really, really pretty. I know it's kind of hard to see... Uh, with all that stuff in the background. Uh, this is a headpiece. This goes on your forehead, lays down. This piece goes over the center. Uh, so this lays right on top of your head, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I have a couple of things like that. Uh, this just looks like a really early um, uh, kind of Etruscan style, maybe kind of <laughs> bracelet. Really cute. Really pretty bracelet. Uh, this is another really early bar brooch. Gold filled. Really pretty. This is the cutest thing ever. This is sterling silver. Um, it's Cinderella's coach. Really cute, or carriage. Very pretty. I also picked up these little, these look new or newer, but they're just really pretty butterfly earrings with the enamel and rhinestones. Lovely. I got this here, little bracelet. Um, it's it's just got all kinds of cool stuff on there. It's got New York, Paris, 
Uh, that's a Viking ship. This is Egypt. That's a world map. This is, oh, I don't know, Great Wall of China, perhaps. There's a pagoda. There's a Buddha. Um, and uh, the San Francisco, uh, what is it called? That bridge. You guys know the one. It's a really cute charm bracelet. It is not signed. Um, not silver. Just costume jewelry, but very, very nice. Um, this is Givenchy. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful chain uh, with the little Givenchy hang tag there. Long gold tone in pristine condition. Really pretty. Got that. Uh, oh, yeah. This is just a, like a little pin. I just thought it was really sweet, though. Really cute. And just a couple more items here. Another little brooch. That's really nicely done. Really well made. Almost looks like gold. Like a 10 karat gold that's old. Old gold. I remember this thing here, and um, I did sell this to Kim. I just think it's super cool. Look at that double eyeball. Evil eye, all seeing eye, the eye that will watch over you and ward off the evil spirits. Cute. I like that one. I got this one here. Oh my gosh, it's getting so warm right now. It's going to be 108 today. Uh, and tomorrow and the next day this is or yeah something like that sunday it's supposed to go back down to 100 um this is a googly eye owl look at him Woo. <laughs> this is by avon super cute really cute i really liked these um i liked everything that was in them uh looks like stone uh, some sort of a green stone, and then it's got rose quartz and some cloisonne beads. And this top part looks like maybe 800 silver. Um, really pretty earrings. And lastly, we got some little micro mosaics or mini mosaics, whatever you call them. Um, there's a difference between the two, mini and micro. Yeah, I, I don't know enough to tell you the difference. So, um, this is just a little trinket box. Doesn't look as old as a couple of these other pieces, like this one, for instance. Uh, looks very old. Uh, that's what the back looks like. Gorgeous piece gorgeous. I really like this one too. Um, this is just a pendant. Beautiful piece. Not just a pendant. It's a pendant. It's just a pretty pendant. And this one is really gorgeous. Um, looks like there's a little dent there. I don't know about getting that out. That one's really pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And my final piece of the night is this lovely... Oh, it is a hummingbird. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was a hummingbird. Uh, but I can see now that that looks like a hummingbird, right? With the enamel? Or is it a dragonfly? or something else. You guys tell me what you think that is. And wishing you all a beautiful and blessed day. Um, I will have all of these things and many others available on Sunday at 5 p.m. But if there's ever anything you guys see that you like, you can always send me a screenshot and we'll talk about it. So, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for um, 
coming this far with me. If you have, it's been a whole year of fun and I appreciate each and every one of you and I can't wait to source more beautiful jewelry for you beautiful people. So thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, have a beautiful and blessed day. Peace out.